So we will repeat the process for case 2. For case 2, again, we will compare the letter value between 0.6 FUANV and 0.6 FYAGV. So for case 2, 0.6 FU, the ANV for case 2 is ANV is 2941.3092. Nine four one point three zero nine two. So let us solve for that. So point six four hundred times two nine four one point three zero nine two. So that is seven hundred five nine one four point two zero eight newton. And then for point six fy agb, so point six fy. AGV, so let us look at AGV of case 2. AGV of case 2 is 4531.3092. Okay? Okay, so the value of 0.6 FY AGV, that is 674258.809 Newton. Okay, so in this case, the answer between the two values is... 0.6 FY AGV. So therefore, we can now determine the nominal block shear strength for case 2. So that is 674.8. plus UBS. By the way, the U sub BS is the block shear coefficient. So since we are assuming that the load is concentric, so it, it, it results to uniform stress on the tension member. So for uniform stress in tension members, the value of U sub BS is 1.0. 1.0 times 0 0.400. So let us look at the A sub NT of case 2. A sub NT of case 2 is... 1469.16. We have a correction for A sub NT of case 2. So as you can see, we have 276.2 for A NT of case 2. So we forgot to multiply 76.2 by 2. So let us multiply this by 2. So our A NT for case 2 becomes, so this is 38. 92.32. Okay, so let us revise again the value in this nominal strength. This should be 3892, 3892.32. Therefore, we have 2231, 2231186.32. 809. Okay? Newton. So let us compare the nominal strength of case 1 and case 2. Of course, the nominal strength that will govern is the lesser value. So for case 2, that is 2231.186809 kilonewton. So that is greater than the nominal strength of case 1. Therefore, this is the governing block shear strength. It is required that we have to compute first the governing block shear strength because if we're going to read the problem, the problem asks for the net shear area for the governing block shear strength. Take note that we have two net shear areas that we have computed. We have two net shear areas that we computed. So in order to determine the governing block shear strength, so we have to complete the solution up to the nominal strength. So in this case, our case 1 is the governing block shear strength. Therefore, the answer for number 5 is the net shear area corresponding to case 1. Okay, so the net shear, the net shear area for case 1 is 5882.6184. So that is letter B.
Problem 6, which of the following most rarely gives the net tension area for the governing block shear strength of the angle? So we know already that the governing block shear strength is for case 1. Therefore, we choose A and T of case 1, which is 1787.16. Therefore, the answer is C. Problem 7, which of the following most early gives the nominal block shear strength of the angle? So we have already figured it out, and that is 2063.38161.8 kN. And that is letter A.